Okay, the recording has started. I'm not seeing any pro. I, I mean, I'm not seeing any text in the chat box. Not sure if it's my internet. Okay, Hilary is excited. Rush from Thamesgill. Okay, you had this is sleepy. You had this. What happened? Who kept you up last night, really? Chris is overwhelmed. Oh my God. Okay, I believe we are going to be using time to to relieve that overwhelming grace today. The one is rushed, another one is feeling intense. Oh God, but you know, these are either way, however we are feeling in the most kind of tired way, is the, uh, how can I say it? It's, it's okay to feel this way because, you know, the program is already intense, life is already intense. And we're trying to run the two at the same time so it makes sense but you know that's why we always like be feeling like we can't wait for sunday to come so that we can relax and sleep and everything so but either way i hope you take care of yourself on a daily basis to ensure that you are in good health and in good shape um, and in good shape uh to navigate this entire intense days really so yeah let's get started we are here with rehmet but also before rehmet be responding to questions we would like us to be helping each other you know so if someone asks a question as actually we have been doing some people have been doing it really perfectly like if someone asks a question and you feel like you know the answer feel free to raise your hand and help them even before the technical tutors talks about it or respond you know we learn from helping each other big time so let's get started let's get started um with uh talking about how was yesterday in general or how has been um i mean yeah we started the week yesterday so how was yesterday and uh do you have any blockers you want to discuss today and also, despite the kind of uh, rashness you are feeling right now, do you feel like you have the energy level to go through the day today? Uh, but especially, we focus on the blockers so that we can continue the day without feeling blocked anywhere. So let's get started. Shall people who want to go first, you can raise your hands. Who wants to go first? Okay, we have the first person on the queue. Let's get five people quickly on the queue so that we save time from calling up our names and people. Hello. Okay, we have the second person. Let's get three people quickly so that we can have five people in the queue. Okay, that's amazing. So as people are, uh, are raising hands, Ahmed, you can go first. Uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, this week is the uh, guy named uh, Sting. Intensive. Uh, the project uh, is not easy, so I spent all this time doing. I also uh, we we make our organization in GitHub, so this is the first steps, and we will try to make a gimmick today. Uh, me and my team, so we can find uh, we can divide the task between us. Uh, this is our plan. So that is all for now. Okay, amazing Ahmed. Keep it up with the group and I hope you received the API keys that was shared by Rhodes in all which channel was it? Our resources, I believe. 
Let me just check quickly. No, it was in all broadcasts. So to those who haven't uh, recognized that they received the API keys for their groups, please go check in the all bro broadcasts. Okay, let's go ahead with Hillary. Okay, I'll okay. Do my... Oh, there is echo on your side. Okay, I was using two devices. Good morning. Good morning. Um, um, yesterday was great, and uh, the the tutorial was a what was an eye opening session for. Sorry about that. The, the tutorial was uh, was great about Red Red Dash uh, chatbot plugin add-on, and uh, I started with that yesterday, and uh, uh, so far I managed to install Red Dash. I had a I had a blocker the other time uh, on last week's project installing Red Dash, but uh, it came, it was successful yesterday. And uh, we, I created an organization and uh, we, we, we started collaborating, but uh, we, was, uh, we, we, we said to ourselves that we'll still continue to look at the documents first. And uh, for me, yeah, that is what I'm doing, looking at the resources because I'm, I'm still trying to understand. My blocker is that the, the for installing, um, for getting the data into the database, uh, it has been challenging to understand how to get that because we have like seven folders, and we have three each three file files nearly the same same name for all of them, and I don't know if we should create like tables, um, um, tables for each file in each so that will be like if it is seven times three like twenty one tables. I'm not sure if that is the right way to do it. And uh, I'd like a clarification on that. Thank you. Okay, all right, Hilary. Uh, I can see that we also have the same question. Rehmet, can you help? I'm sorry, what was the question? Um, so the question is, uh, the, the data has like um, about 10, 10 folders. And from like se seven or eight folders, we have the same uh, file names, chat data, table data, and total CSVs. So um, I, I don't see any way how to join the data uh, because like, uh, like they are they can't be joined i don't think so i was looking at the chat yesterday but if that is the case yeah that means i'm going to create like 21 tables for for each csv file is that the right way i'm supposed to do uh, if there's no connection uh, with the data okay. yeah i don't think they can see any because uh okay i saw that from the from the Slack, uh, people saying that we can merge, but I'm not sure if it's possible. But if it's not possible, do you have to like create tables for each or a database for each? Yeah, you can create different tables, but uh, the, all of them are information about the every video. So uh, I think there should be some connection with the particular video. Merging is not the only option. You can create a schema to connect it on the database by calling one key to, to another table for RIME primary key that we do on database designing. So each of them can have a sing, sing separate table that you can connect them with when you design your schema by connecting them with their ID. So try to see that. And if there are people who are saying you can merge them, maybe talk to them also. Uh, I'm guessing there should be some connection on the videos between each data. Okay. Right, you see it in both ways. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'll look yes, into that.
Okay, the which uh, did you also get to answer? Uh, you can put your confirmation in the chat box as well. In the meantime, we can go ahead to Binyam. Yes. Yeah, so thank you. Um, uh, in the spirit of uh, not repeating the last week's mistakes, I um, managed to successfully install the, the radar yesterday. Um, it took me like an hour to do so, and I also met with my teammates and had a somehow successful first meeting. Mm, one problem I have encountered uh, is that after integrating the chat window as per our tutorial, uh, I have to run the compost build again. And the first time, like I said, it took me around an hour. And the second time, it was like 15 minutes. So does that mean I have to wait 15 minutes after every change or after every Compost builds. I think this is my question. Plus, if we can run the server alone and the client, the client panel, that would be nice. We can run, manage to do that. And it will be appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about the second question. I don't think I heard you well, but for the first one, uh, since we are change, making a change on the redis source code, it needs time to run all the dependencies all over again to see the changes. That's just how it is. Maybe there might be a different solutions out there on the internet. People at this, since the redis source code is an open source code, maybe research that there may be some other way to run, uh, to make a change on the source code. But right now, that is the information I have. You have to, every dependency, has to be run on the source code to see the changes. So okay, have, uh, having a better internet connection will minimize the time. So like, can we run it locally? Yeah, um, you are running it locally, right? On the, but you do, you do need it on yeah, the... Uh, I mean, without deploying it on Docker. Something like uh, NPM run something. I don't think there is that option, as, as of my knowledge. It will be another installation of Redash. So, uh, since every time things are changed, maybe there is, so you can refer that. But if you are using the installation, uh, this one, uh, with Docker, it will require that. Okay, thank you. So I'm, I'm not going to limit you by saying there isn't. Just try to see if there is a way. <laughs> Um, the second question I didn't hear, Binyam, if it's that for me. That's it, thank you. Okay. Okay, all right. I'll uh, move on to Abebe. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, here is some noise from my side. I will finish here shortly. Uh, yesterday, I was uh, trying to do the redash, and I was successfully completed it. But uh, uh, after I finished uh, the, uh, installing redash successfully, I have uh, got some blocker to work with the add-ons. Uh, it may be, I think, uh, a syntax error or a pause uh, problem. Uh, I was trying to sort it, but uh, I can't uh, get into it. Uh, it will be good if uh, the video will be shared. The yesterday's uh, tutorial video will be shared with us. That may be help help for me. Uh, in the other thing, we uh, we managed to create organization for our project, and uh, we are waiting one of our team members to reply uh, to go forward on the project. Uh, other thing, uh, I, was I am trying to understand what are we expected from this challenge and uh, reading about components, uh, technologies that are uh, going to be used for this uh, 
challenge. Thank you. Okay, as for the tut tomorrow's tutorial, please all of you tag Rodas so she can upload the video. I will also tell her, but make sure you also tag her. Um, what was the second thing you just said? Uh, I, I was asking yesterday's uh, tutorial. Uh, I have written for uh, Rodas uh, this morning. Uh, she did, it may be she will reply soon. Yeah, she will reply. I will also remind her. And if the error still persists, please DM me on the Slack, okay? For the okay, okay. Uh, as for the challenge, I think uh, also if you see tomorrow's um, the tutorial, you will understand what's expected. So uh, review the tutorial, yesterday's tutorial, get that. Okay, okay. Okay, one data, you can go ahead. All right. Good morning, everyone. So uh, yesterday, um, uh, our day was good with the group. We, I met, we met, I met everyone, and we we had a, a Zoom. We had a, like a meeting at night, and we discussed the project. We also stumbled on the whole the data, but then uh, we decided to uh create uh we, we decided not to do, do the merge like what everyone was discussing in the group because we realized that the data doesn't have it can't be merged because they're all individual tables but now that uh they mentioned did the whole maybe you can have a primary key and a foreign key so that you can create some sort of relationship between the data so i think we shall do that and then we created a repository but uh my question is is that when you create the the, the chatbot is it supposed to only generate the the SQL queries like from, or it's also supposed to generate the query and also the visualization, like when. So that's my question. Like the bot, the chatbot. Like if I if I'm a user and I and I and I say how many viewers can I can I I don't know like show me the top ten viewers, is it supposed to generate the the query the SQL query? And then also, and then at the same time, it generates the visualization. Or when it gives you the, the SQL query, the user goes into Redash themselves and then generates the, the visualization. So that's my question. OK. Um, the LLM module will give you the query, but you can make it to also visualize it by connecting with the Redash dashboard functionality the redash dashboard functionality right now currently the exist one will accept user's query and uh, make it visual can do the visualization so you can understand the source code and find that part of the redash source code which make the visualization and connect it with the, the llm answer so every time the llm is requested some query it you can uh, you can take the response and pass it through the redash visualization functionality so you can see the visualization on the dashboard. That would be the end goal. That would be terrific. But for the start, you start. You can start from first uh, when the users ask a question. First, they can get the queries. That will be the first step. And the next step, the, which would be uh, the amazing step of implementing the project, would be also accepting the query and visualizing it. Would be your uh, ultimate target at the end. So we would want you to have a query and the visualization. But uh, this should be done by connecting the Redash backend with the LLM response. The LLM cannot do the visualization on the chat. It can only answer a question. Yes, yes. Even the, yes, you've answered my question. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Getach, I forgot who was the person who is not responding on your group. Could you mention his name? Gepacha, you are saying uh, someone is not responding from your group? So if you're hearing, please mention his name so we can also reach out to him. So um, ask a bit over here. It is not to everyone else who have a teammate who are not responding. Please uh, let us know in the chat box or go ahead inbox Rodas. 
that will help. Okay, so let's continue. Who's ready to share? Next. Okay, Derek. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, so yeah, yesterday uh, we we met with our group members and uh, discussed about about the tasks and and also the and also I installed Red Dash dashboard and uh, able to run uh, successfully. So and also I just add on on dashboard. So I'm trying to interact with ads EPT and. Uh, yeah, my question is on on data sets. So I see we have a lot of just uh, folders, but and and also just in the folder there is some similar columns. So I'm trying to just uh, so are we going to merge uh, the columns that are similar or maybe? do other things yeah it is not clear for me um uh, could you repeat that question i mean are you asking i'm not sure the question i understand the question david okay so yeah the question is about the data sheets so in the data sheets uh folder we have a lot of uh files csv files and yeah in the csv files we have uh, similar column rights. For example, in, in the cities folder, we have chart data and table data. So there is some similarities based on columns. So are we going to just uh, create um, merge data and uh, so then create a schema based on that? Or maybe? Yeah, just try to understand the data about the videos and just uh, gather uh, all the information from the is from the data to have a proper table that describes the videos uh, attributes so if there's too much similarity either you can drop them or just fetch them to organize the data if there is some kind of uh, if the similarity is i don't know i don't i'm not quite sure how similar each table is, but if there is too much similarity to represent one video, you can pick the right columns. You can wrap all, so you can. You, creation is up to you. You, are, you guys already have the experience how to do that. You just have. Uh, you can finally create your own information about a video. Uh, so you can be creative how you can manipulate the data. There, there it is. Okay, the rich. Uh, let's continue. Okay, I believe we wanted to know the person who is not active in your group. The name of the person. You can put them in the chat box so that we can reach out them. Um, yep, let's continue. We still have a few minutes. Anyone with the last question? If anyone, anyone who has anything that is blocking them, that is confusing them, any question at all? Okay, Abibi. I think there was uh, a question for me. Uh, I was off, sorry, if you remind me. Oh, okay, we were asking uh, what is the name of the person who's not active in your group? Oh, I, I have mentioned him uh, in our group this morning to, re uh, to reply for us. Maybe uh, Rahmat, can, Rahmat and Rodas can see him. They are a member of that group. 
اوكي رحمت اوكي مش اوكي ويل سي اون ذا جروب جروب فور اوكي 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 رايت ام ليسنج ا داويد اس كان يو شير ستي يسترداي توتوريال بليز Let me check YouTube if it's not there yet to we'll ping uh, the team in who is responsible, that is responsible for them to upload quickly. Yeah, that would, I will update you very shortly. Okay. So if there are not any other questions, then we can call it a day. Okay, time scan. Go, go ahead. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, I was working on Windows and uh, on the Redash, I cloned it and uh, installed the uh, Yard and uh, the Nessile dependencies using uh, Gitpush. Well, somehow, uh, this code was not allow me. So I integrated Gitpush on the terminals on this code. And uh, when I run make build or make compost build, it's giving me errors. It's, it's, it's saying uh, mix uh, is not uh, found. That's it. Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, what was you saying, Mr. Nadine? Make, make build and make compost build. Uh, make is not found. So we'll make it not on the on my terminal. Yeah. Uh, could you DM me the Slack? You can share me the error and we can try to fix it, okay? Sure. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, you can DM me on the Slack after this stand up. Is that a question, Hilary? Uh, yes. Um I my question is, uh, the first one is that we in stage four, we are asked to incorporate vector databases. And so um, is it diff how is it different from like th these data we have? And uh, can I, which, where, where will I place it? Like in Postgres or uh, maybe a clarification on that. And the second is, uh, uh, if I, can I create like a SQL queries uh, in for migrations to write the schema, or uh, is there any other approach to to store the data to Postgres? Okay. For the second one, you mean creating queries on the Redash, or no, not creating like uh, creating. Uh, SQL commands for for schema for, for schema yeah. not for questions for uh, loading the you, data you can it. do that you can do that if, if that's what you prefer to write the schema um well that's this on the task okay. for right they have yeah. that yes so uh, you don't have to worry about the database on this week as much. Uh, let me just see the requirement on the documentation. It doesn't specify doing big data habits right on the documentation. I'm not seeing. Yes. Seeing utilize vector databases uh, only that and is it on the stage four part where on the working plan? Yes, stage four. Stage four. Yes, that one. So here, just worry about understanding what is the concept behind Victor databases. For this week project, you will not use um, the Victor database tools to store your data. You will directly access the data from Postgres or any other database type. So uh, just make sure to understand what Victor database is, what includes the architecture behind database, uh, Victor database. But uh, just 
don't uh, worry about this one for the for this week project other than understanding the tool you won't be using it in the uh, in building this chat up oh, that clears up hillary okay yeah it's clear thank you Okay, I think we're done with the questions or is there more questions? Okay, if there are no any other questions, then we can call it a meeting and then we go ahead and focus on today's schedule. All right, have a great day, everyone. Enjoy your day.